Can I trust you? asked Buck Henry, holding his sword by his side, feeling more than a little nervous. Many have, said Morgan soberly. Some have lost their life. This is what happens in our trade. I think of adventures with my fun and... <sighs> they didn't always end up for the best, said Morgan. We accomplished our pur purposes at times. Swarms were... <coughs> tricky business. We were prepared to take action. I was... Holding them off before they reached that star was a plan once. And now... The plan failed miserably. Yet in Penvasher is relief, and I see the stirrings in circles through Tamron and Penvash and, and our own plans to rid us of these swarms permanently. To drive him back down to deep south and let the skull learn his lesson. So trust me. Trust me, Beck Henry. He'll survive his test. Buck Henry walked across the rope bridge carefully. Remember, keep your balance, lad. It can snap. And down below, I fancy those rocks will take your soul if you smash too hard into them. Don't... Don't lean too far to one side or the other. And keep your face forward. It was a test that Morgan had set up with loosely tied ropes of a flimsy nature, old rotting ropes, just to see the guts in young Buck Henry as he crossed the pass. He made it. They were tied from one rock to another, and those rocks feet below, many feet below. But Bang Henry made it, and when Morgan said, Come on back then, shook his head to the young Buck Henry and climbed down the rock face, waded across the waters, and back up to his uncle of sorts. I'm a Rovac now, he said, raising his fist. Hardly, said Morgan, but you're learning the way. Sword combat tomorrow. And uh, bring along that Penelope, if you like. She could always be good encouragement, as I trot along the beach back to camp. Dirty old man said Buck Henry under his breath.